What's going on everybody? Today we're going to take a look at five games that are similar to Doom, Quake, Duke Nukem, or other retro first person shooters. Starting off with number one we have Void Bastards. Void Bastards is a roguelike first person shooter set in space. Throughout the game you'll be able to craft different weapons, gadgets, or devices if you have the materials needed to craft these items. You'll be able to find these items throughout your runs. When you're ready to select a ship, you choose a ship that's closest to your ship. Unless you have this item called a warp key, which allows you to travel to any ship that's on the screen. When you're ready to board a ship, you select the one you want. Then you'll have to choose a loadout. The first item you choose is a firearm. The second item you choose is an indirect item, which is basically a secondary item and then you'll have to choose your device. After you choose your loadout, you'll get a quick overhead view of the ship. Once you spawn in, you have a certain amount of time to get through the ship. As you can see on top of the screen, you have oxygen. Most of the ships do have an oxygen refill station, but you can only use them once per run on each ship. Each ship has different enemies. Depending on what ship you choose, you could have easy enemies, hard enemies, fast enemies, or slow enemies. Once you gather all the materials you need from the ship, you run back to the exit and that's when you can leave. I highly recommend this to anybody that likes roguelikes or first person shooters or just fun games in general. It's a great game that I recommend to anybody that wants to play. Next game on our list is Ion Fury. Ion Fury is similar to games like Duke Nukem 3D or games of that genre. I recommend this game to anybody who likes Duke Nukem 3D or Doom or even Shadow Warrior. You'll be able to find different weapons and secrets as you progress through the game. The game can be very challenging though so I recommend if you've never played it before to start out on an easy difficulty until you get the hang of it. You'll be able to find drinks and food throughout the levels that you can use to heal yourself. Some might look like a drink from McDonald's, some might be a slice of pizza or french fries as you can see right there. I highly recommend this game to anybody who likes Quake, Doom, Duke Nukem because it would be a perfect game to add to your collection. Next on our list is the Serious Sam Collection. In this collection you'll have Serious Sam the First Encounter, Serious Sam the Second Encounter, and Serious Sam 3, with some DLCs for the games as well. They're also great games to play with a friend. It has couch co-op, online co-op, team deathmatch, and a survival mode. The enemies are fantastic. You got enemies from suicide bombers to mancubus looking enemies from doom to skeleton horses that will chase you down and relentlessly attack you till you're dead. This game in a way gives me the feeling of playing doom even though it's much different than doom. So I would recommend this to people that enjoy doom or quake because it has that feeling of those games combined. The price of this game is completely reasonable and with three full games and DLCs included you really can't go wrong if you get this. I'd recommend playing this on an easier difficulty because this game can be very difficult. Up next we have Strafe. Strafe came out a few years back and there was actually a lot of people talking about this game. But when it came out it was actually kind of buggy and not polished very well and to this day you'll come across frame rate drops, um, some bugs, but other than that the game still runs really well and you can get a full playthrough out of it. Each level of the campaign is randomly generated which offers a good amount of replayability but it also has this mode where you complete wave after wave of enemies and after each wave you go through these doors to the next room and you complete waves in that room 
After you complete the waves, you can go to these machines down here. You can get a different upgrade from each machine, or you can get health or shields, and you can also pick a free perk, one of three perks. I'd recommend this game as well to add to your collection because it is a good game that deserves to be played by more people. Last but not least, we have Project Warlock. This game is probably the best Doom style game I have come across. It also has multiple difficulties, hardcore being absolutely brutal. When you start off in the tutorial, as you see on screen, the gold is not currency. You use the gold to get experience. You'll find upgrade points in secrets mostly. They give you one for free right here, but most of them are found in secrets. You'll then arrive at your hub world. You interact with these computers where you can upgrade your spells, weapons, and stats. These are all the spells. Throughout the game you'll find more and unlock them. The weapons, there's 12 weapons in total. When you have the required amount of upgrade points, you're allowed to choose what upgrade you would like for your weapon. As you can see, this one, each landed hit replenishes your health. The other one is each hit replenishes your mana. But once you choose one, the other one becomes locked. Here is where you distribute your stat points you got from leveling up. And over here are your perks. As you can see, there's requirements to get these perks. You might have to have 5 life or 5 strength. It just depends. Here at this computer is where you select the chapter and the level you want to play. And when you get to the level you want to play, under each one there's a certain amount of stages. So really, these are episodes. And under each episode, there's multiple levels. On this first one, there's two stages. When you complete these two stages, you'll go back to your hub world to distribute your skill points or your stat points or your perk points. The game is absolutely fantastic. The secrets, there's keys you have to collect to open doors just like in Doom. If you are a Doom fan, I would absolutely recommend this game before any of the other ones on the list. The game is completely amazing. These were the five Doom, Quake, Duke Nukem style games that I personally enjoy myself. If you guys did enjoy the video, please consider subscribing and leaving a like. This is the first time I made a video like this. So let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.